Megyn Kelly, anchor of The Kelly File on the Fox News Network, is here to talk about her new book called Settle for More. Megyn, good morning. It's good to have you Hi. here. It's so good to be here. There are a lot of revelations in this book, and I'm going to start with what went on at Fox with Roger Ailes. This is something that you wrote about in the book later, after it was completed, and you talked about sexual harassment. Can you tell us what happened? I knew in the moment, as soon as I saw the that complaint and the complaints that came out in the day and, and bit days thereafter that I had a decision to make. Because 10 years earlier, when I was a first year reporter at Fox News, it had happened to me too. And, you know, I was a neophyte. I had no power. I was a cub reporter. And from August of 2005 through January of 2006, whenever I would go up to New York, because I was in the DC Bureau, he would call me into his office and he would engage in a kind of cat and mouse game with me where he would veer between inappropriate sexual comments and legitimate professional advice. And it culminated in an incident in his office in January 2006 where he tried to get physical with me. I rejected his advances. I tried to make a move on you? He tried to kiss me and then I pushed him away. He tried to kiss me again. I pushed him away again. He asked me when my contract was up and then he tried to kiss me for the third time. I pushed him away. I walked out the door and I called a lawyer. I then reached out to some other people within Fox News to see whether it had happened to them. You know, I was trying to figure out whether this was a serial issue or whether it was about me. I didn't find anybody at that time. And then I did tell a supervisor about it. And that supervisor told me that Roger was a good man, that he was likely just smitten with me, and that I should try to avoid him, which is what I did. And we went on as the years progressed to have a fine, good, solid working relationship. Up until this summer, I think the perception was that Roger Ailes was quite fond of your work mm -hmm. and had promoted you and that the feelings were mutual. It's true. And so there are some who say, how, how can you reconcile those two things? In fact, Ailes put out a statement. He said, watch Megan's interview on Charlie Rose where she says, I really care about Roger and he's been nothing but good to me. Yeah. Ex can you explain to people how how both of those things could be true? In my case, I did have a good working relationship with Roger. As soon as he laid off me, we were fine. And I came to respect him as, as a person. And I forgave what had happened between us because he never did retaliate against me and he did promote me based on merit. Um, however, that didn't change my reaction when I saw the lawsuit. And as soon as I read their allegations in particular, I, I knew they were true. I knew they were true. Did it sound similar? It was dead on. And then, of course, woman after woman started to come out. Roger Ailes categorically denies this. What do you think of him now? It's complicated. He did a lot of good, but he did a lot of bad. And I know too much now. Obviously, this has been a momentous year for you. And part of the reason is you have been a target of a presidential candidate. And honestly, Megan, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I've been very nice to you, although I could probably maybe not be based on the way you have treated me. I know we're supposed to have a thick skin in this business, but this was on a whole other order of magnitude. How does it affect you personally? What was hardest about it? It has not been an easy year, I mean, that's for sure. But one of the themes of Settle for More is that adversity is an opportunity. And in fact, one of the reasons I wrote the book was because I feel like the younger kids today are getting too soft. I worry about the millennial generation that can't have any upset in their lives and they need their safe spaces everywhere they go. Back in our day, sister, <laughs> right? We had to have bad things happen to us and did. And we had to function in the face of that adversity. And so in a way, this past year has been a chance to build those muscles, right? <laughs> had plenty of adversity and it's almost like you can't grow and become stronger unless you have some difficult situations thrown at you. Right now, Trump is watching this thinking, you're welcome. <laughs> so the, it, it has been a dark year, but I, I can also put it in perspective. Let me ask the devil's advocate question. This is the Megyn Kelly question. There will be some what? who say your career skyrocketed after all of this. Maybe it was worth it. You know, to that, I would say to you, the two people who flanked me on the Fox News channel are Bill O'Reilly and Sean Hannity. Both of those guys are household names. And I'm right in between them. And I would say that while Trump's attentions increased my name recognition, I was doing just fine before Trump. And I'll be doing just fine after him, too. Some reviewers of the book who've seen it now say, there's some information in here about Trump 
that she could have revealed before the election. Maybe it would have been in the public interest to do so, but instead she saved it for her book. How do you respond? I didn't want to be the story, but Trump kept making me the story. And I certainly didn't want to add fuel to that fire. Um, I didn't want to run out there and, and do a boo-hoo, like, look at what this is doing to my life. I just wanted to move on. I wanted to stand him down. I didn't want to aggravate his supporters anymore, over whom Trump has an enormous effect. Anything I say in this book it was not going to bring Trump down. If you, if you think the Access Hollywood bus and the 12 female accusers coming forward and doing and all the other stuff didn't bring Trump down, and you think my book would, um, I think you're deluding yourself. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.